This is the, my first live build since the Millennium Falcon. So it's been a long, long time. Um, I'm not going to be answering much chat tonight, but I have got a chat screen here. So if I occasionally look up and see your, a message that I want to answer to, or you know, I can do give you an answer to, then obviously I will. But please, please, please don't be offended if I don't answer or read your message or don't answer it. It's because I haven't seen it. I'm concentrating on the model, and believe me. <laughs> to do the first live stream, I go and pick the HMS Victory. I'm a brave man because the amount of things that could go wrong with this are uh, absolutely crazy. Uh, but I will try and uh, pick up the messages. As I said, I've got an iPad uh, here. You can't actually see it. It's off camera. So when I'm actually looking this way around, I can still see the messages on the screen here. Um, and I think the last one I've got here was from uh, Andreas. Thank you, evening, Wayne. And Alex McDonald. Hi, Wayne, and good luck with a live build. Thank you so much for that, Alex. So first of all, a bit of housekeeping. We've got two cameras. We've got uh, the main top camera, which is going to look like that. And as you can see in the little uh, picture there, we've got the main side camera. So I can uh, change these at will uh, when I go through it. No problems at all. Uh, and obviously I can go back to this screen here and uh, talk to you. Um, but I think before we start the victory, it's probably best to let you know what we're going to be doing tonight. We're actually going to be doing a little bit of planking just on this supports here that uh, against the transom there. Uh, we're also going to be, once that's done, uh, we're going to be painting this black again because I've had to uh, had some issues and I'll tell you that as we do the build plus I forgot to paint the whole section on this so we're going to be doing some painting there uh, and I'm also going to show you about some plank bending as you can see over there I've got my plank bender so I'm going to show you how we're going to do some plank bending for that as well we're not actually bending planks to put on the victory at the moment but I do have some planks that I've been playing with and the only reason I've been playing with these is because obviously um, I need them for when I was doing the fairing so I need to bring you up to speed and to catch you up with the fairing and what I've been up to that's led us to this stage that we're up to now. So to start with, we need to reinforce the bow. So we've got these fish plates here, which are labeled 8B. I'm just gonna put loads of glue on these. I'm not gonna go shy on this because uh, <laughs> any glue you put on the ship at the moment is just gonna stand to reinforce it. And these go either side of the keel here. So I'll put the first one in there. As you can see, I've got loads of glue and I'll just wipe this off with my finger. And then we're gonna be, once that's in place, putting the other side in just like this. Now this is gonna take some time to cure. So I will, again, put some glue in there and then clamp that into place. Uh, I've put a couple of clamps on this. See more glue's gonna squeeze out now. <laughs> I really caked it. I didn't want it coming out. And once it's done, I'm gonna leave that to set just like that. Now we're gonna take it outside. Now, as you can see, I've moved the studio outside because we're gonna start the fairing on the victory and uh it's going to create a lot of mess now the tools for that i'm going to show you in a second and i'll show that in the studio but i just wanted to say that if you're going to start fairing a ship probably best to do it in a proper workshop or outside now the first thing i noticed when i started fairing is the amount of material that needs to come off the back if you have a look here basically that kill section's out that far but the kill line it goes up there so we need hell of a lot of material to come off we also need to see that these bent planks here fit flat against the rib sections of the ship, which means we need to fare them down as well. So they look kind of like that in this picture. To do that, we need to break out the power tools. Now I only used the rotary tool to take off the areas where I had lots of stuff to take off, material to take off. Then I finished up with a file or a rasp here. And then once I finished with the rasp, got the sanding block out, just did the fine detail. And when I finished with that, I went down to the sanding stick. And that took almost a week. <laughs> and as you can see, once I've done, I made sure that that bend is absolutely perfect. It does take a long time, and I was already told that this is one of the most important parts of the uh, ship to do. Um, but that is now completed. Now, another thing I didn't want to miss is if you have a look here, we didn't want to make sure that the deck is coming out past the ribs. If it is, that needs to be shaved back too. So if you look here, it was pretty much okay. But when I move the ship down, you can see where I've sanded to get that deck in line with the ribs so that when we plank over the top of that they're not going to stick out when we're finished though that's the stern completed 
Now we do have a false kill that we need to actually shave some material off either side. So it's just a two millimeter thickness on both sides. And then that's what the bow looks like when that's finished. It was like a rum BT Errol. <laughs> There we go. So that's now caught you up to exactly where we are at the moment. And uh, if I go over to the camera now, you can see that what we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting planking down this section here of the supports. So we're putting some here and here, and then we're going to be going on this concave section just around here, 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 all the way uh, to the transom there. Now, uh, <laughs> this is where it's going to be fun. I've already put the first one in. The reason I've done that is so A, it lines it up, and B, because this is only held in, with glue just on that edge there and that edge there i'm afraid that if we actually put too much pressure on those pins this is just gonna break off each one of these and uh believe me it did <laughs> so uh, i did that this morning just to see how we go with it and uh we're now ready to start doing this so that's the first thing i'm going to be doing i'm going to be putting these plank sections in now so hopefully we can do this now i've been trying to look at the cameras and if i do need to change them uh, then i'll click over to that it's probably the best one to go on at the moment planks we've got these come with the build looking just like that they're quite long and i've got my pencil here so i'm going to be if they want us to do this bit this one here first then work our way down and the reason i've chose this one is because it enables if i put it on that side this section to be straight as you can see there going on it's going to be kind of straight and it will also enable this side to be straight if i put that on there first then this section was going all over the place so what i need to do when we do this actually i'm going to do this side first i said now this side needs to overhang the sides here by a little bit it needs to go further and further out as you can see like that here about that sort of distance because we're going to have the planks eventually coming around here to sort of that edge there in a bend so we need to have some extra sort of like planks coming out this section here so what i'm going to do is measure this up whoops i want to do that side first like that have you seen the episode of the sloop of the bounty i haven't no uh, mega nico i'm just going to mark where i need to cut that and then to cut this believe it or not sprue cutters work absolutely perfect on this as you will see bang nice clean cut there so we need to get some glue and i've got this trusty little package here um which i'm going to put in some wood glue the wood glue i'm using it's just a, an ordinary wood glue there um but put this in here the reason i've got this little plastic pot that you see here this one here is because i finally got hold of issue 59 of the terminator so tomorrow evening we will have issue 59 of the terminator that you can watch now you will notice in these build videos i'm gonna say i don't talk as much as i normally do but uh you know that's not true didn't you that could have gone down more that one i might have to push that pin in a little bit more on that side so i've got a pin pusher which again let's just change this camera over oops what's going on there we go uh this pin pusher is available on my amazon store and as you can see you've got a link underneath now this pin pusher is the perfect size for fitting these tiny panel pins the trouble is it's such a perfect size that some of these sometimes don't fit this one as you can see here is going to fit whoops as you can see there it's going to fit fine right so what i need to do is i want to line up these holes straight away here where i'm going to be putting the pins i shouldn't i should have done this first actually see making mistakes already so one there one there one there and one there get that off my uh ugh pin cutter there went under the desk now i'm going to put the pins in first on this surface here just at the marks there so it's easier to push them in when i get it as you see they just uh, sit in just like that i'm glad you might be able to see some of this so thank you i uh i do the garden for mrs world away so she can sit out there in the summer although the last few days has been really uh, windy so I've had to tie the fence up 
but I've had an ingenious fix for the fence which uh, if I ever do a probably do it for my patrons actually the uh, to show you how I've fixed my fence all the, all the I've got a fence with two posts that are broken on it <laughs> I've had to uh, make a fix so we're gonna put this in and this is where things are gonna go wrong now line it up where I want it just like that I'm gonna push it in now the first one I'm gonna push in oh look I put that one in the wrong one there or did I put that around the wrong way? I put it around the wrong way, Wayne. No, that's better. Line it up. Line it up. I'm going to put one of these middle ones in first. I'm holding it from the bottom. And then. There we go, pushing it in. I don't want it to go in all the way, so I'm conscious of how hard I'm pushing this. Let's try that again. It's better. And then this one. Probably gonna go a little bit quiet now as I push these in, the M1. And then this end one over here. Now I do wanna push this one in just again. Make sure that's tight in there. There we go. That went quite good, didn't it? <laughs> You're up to the queue on the victory. Oh my God, Christopher Thompson. So there we go, that's what that's looking like at the moment, and uh, that's what it looks like on top. Now, we've got one more to go on here. Where's the uh, stick that I use? Why does everything have a habit of going underneath there? So the next one will be overhanging the end, but that's okay, because we'll be filing this back later. So once again, I'm gonna mark this out here, and then mark out just a line where these pins are gonna go. Perfect. The pins are going to be pulled out afterwards. Now, I was shocked to see that some people, when they put these pins in and they do the planking, rather than take them out, they actually uh, cut them. They cut them off and leave the metal in, which I suppose is a good idea. Saves a lot of time, that's for sure. <laughs> but uh, I think I will be oops, taking mine out. And as you can see, paddle pins are now flying all over the place. All good. Change. <laughs> I'm trying to change the cameras when I go. Problem, Wayne, is my mate Chris Davis usually does Tuesdays live. Does he? I, I don't know. I've got a, uh, I've got a, 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 my nephew, he does a, uh, oh, wait a minute, I've put this in the wrong one, haven't I? One, let me have a look at this again. I've got a nephew who does um, a quiz show, a live quiz show. So uh, tonight, so I'll probably interrupt him with him. But this is going to be on demand. It will be in the uh, victory playlist. So here's the last one. I just realised that I put all these pins in and I haven't cut this down to size yet. See, and I put that in the wrong one as well. Lucky I did that. This is where you get to see all the mistakes I made. So now you can probably figure out how much I edit. <laughs> There you go, right, let's cut this off where it needs to be cut off. That's what that line was for, where I've got to cut. So once again, use my sprue cutters. It's nice and straight. Off it goes. Once again, we'll put some glue in there. It's nice to see that some people are getting the uh, Spitfire. I want that. <laughs> so hopefully I'll be able to pick issue nine up tomorrow. I think uh, some of the subscribers are now got up to issue 10. I do like that. Right, here we go again. <laughs> now remember the pins are only holding the glue in place. They're not actually there to be that supportive. But this job would be pretty much, I'm going to do a central one first, pretty much a, impossible, I reckon, without a pin pusher. Oh, guess what? That one. <laughs> if, you, if, you, if you don't believe that these live streams are live, look, I'll just cut myself. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Right, okay. That'll do. Let's try that again. Some reason these aren't going in. I don't know why. I'm gonna turn this around for a second. I don't know how much you're gonna be able to see off this now. Look at the camera. None of the cameras are gonna see it at the moment. I just want to get this lined up. Because they're not going in very well. Probably because I don't think that pin's in the right place. Okay. All right, you evil winged spawn of Satan. Get in there. There we go. And then that one. Oh, the blood. Don't worry. I'm not about to... Uh... <laughs> I'm not about to... Uh... Go on stream. There we go. They're all in. I'm not about to faint on stream. <laughs> so we got those in there. Let's uh, show you out on that camera. While I lick my finger. <laughs> oh dear. That's not good. <laughs> right. Okay. Yep. It's live. Right. In new plank now. So right. We've done the ones that are going down this way. Now we're going to be doing the ones that go along this edge here. But these ones, I need to make sure that I've got. A lot more coming out the sides here as i said because we're going to have a, a line that's sort of going to go run as a matter of fact let me just show you what that's going to look like if i click on whew, that button now if you have a look over here you can see this line here where are we over here is going to sort of go in a curve so it's quite close at this side that's why i didn't have to worry about these ones and it goes out towards that first rib so let's go back to that and we'll get this measured out again now this one sort of it's going to fit on a concave so it's going to be going this side's all going down there this side's going to be going around there oh thank you dylan Payne. thank you for that uh that tip i really appreciate that i uh let's get a bit more out for this one i um i definitely really it doesn't matter where these pins are going just so you know come out but yeah I definitely uh, cut myself there really bad it's not bad it was like having one of those uh diabetes checks you know where you jab your finger but I did it twice so I've got I've got two holes in my head <laughs> what am I like right let's change this camera around again there we go I do like being able to switch the cameras and if I work here you can see what I'm doing so right we know where we've got to cut this off so I'm going to cut that off first excellent and then we get some more of these panel pins in. How long are you going to build for, Wayne? Until this uh, issue's done, Chris. So once I've done this bit, this issue's done. But it's, I've got to paint, do some painting. That's probably going to take about 20 minutes to half an hour. And I want to show you plank bending with different kinds of um, saturations of wood. Now, some of these planks, I've... Uh, go back to the main camera. I've been storing some planks in a two litre bottle in there just like that now i've got different planks i've got one that has been soaking in there for three days which is far too long i've got one which has been soaking in there for five hours which is just about perfect and i've got one which has just got a light dusting of water on it i want to show you how the plank bender works with that so you can get an idea of how how it's actually the best way to do it right so please don't cut myself this time let me just make sure i've lined this up where it's going to go around about there that looks good all right so we put some glue on probably best not to actually hold this section right underneath where you're putting the pins otherwise they will go straight into your finger <laughs> and now when you watch my build videos and you see the scars on my hand now you know where they come from <laughs> <laughs> I 
I do find the planking quite relaxing, uh, Chris Campling. Oh, Chris, I did get, um, was it you, Chris? I think you sent me the email about the accident. Yes, I did get that email. Sorry, I didn't answer that. All right, I'm gonna put this one in first. I'm holding this at the end this time, so I don't push that one in too far. I'll have to try and get that one out later. You don't want to put it in, in that one. God, I'm done on my own strength. Let's, uh, not happy there. Let's put that one back there. That's it. There we go. That's perfect. So it doesn't have to go in as much as those two. I have got a little tool that will get those out. So Now you probably can't see this. Let me just make sure that's all flat. But there is a tiny, tiny little gap in there. Obviously, once this is sanded down, you're not going to see that. And if I need to put some filling in, I can. Uh, the other thing is that these planks here sit straight, but these planks here have a slight, very slight bend to them. Only a really slight one. But that one's in. And once again, I'm going to widen this up. I can always cut this off afterwards. But I think if I go in line with that now, and the same on that side, probably a bit more. Then that goes a bit wider. One, two, three, four. Cut this off. Make sure that lines up okay. Happy with that one. Push that down a bit more. Right. Okay, that looks good. Right, get some more glue down. Oh no, put the pins in first. Blame your scars on domestic abuse. Yep, that's what I should do. Pisses world away, she beats me. Now uh, this is an example of a a pin. You can still see this on the camera. That look just won't go into my pin pusher because the head is too big. So I can't use that one. You do get a few of them. I normally keep them to one side, as a matter of fact, because that's the second one now. I'm wondering if I'm going through the pile of the ones I've already sorted out. <laughs> Let's try this one. No, oh dear. Can't be good. Try this one. Stuck in there, is there? No. No, we're good, we're good to go again. So, one. How do you glue the planks when they're still wet? Well, the planks will dry out and the glue will dry out with it. So there's not really a problem. It's actually a little bit like how you would put the glue down for ballast when you're ballasting train tracks. That that's all wet. It's actually mixed with washing up liquid as well. But when it dries, uh, it dries just as hard. The problem is, the reason why I want to show you the different saturations of wood and when we bend them, is not so much whether they'll bend or not, it's what happens to them when they dry. And when they dry, they obviously start to shrink down to what they were. But the more saturated the wood, the more deformed it becomes. And then it will start warping, ripping nails out, and creating gaps, which you really don't want. So, uh, now the next uh, stage after this, we're actually on to pack three after this stage here. Uh, we are actually starting to plank the victory. So, and to be honest with you, planking looks quite easy up until you get to this point and the it's it's partner at the front there that looks like a living nightmare <laughs> but we'll see how we get on right, just making sure that's it and i'm going to put the it over just a touch this is actually going better than i thought it would <laughs> that's what in Two in, three in. Now I'm aware that when we get to the end here, that's good. We're either going to have a gap here, or it's going to go onto that section. So we're going to have to mold that section round. Uh, but that that works is what that's looking like at the moment. So let's do the next one. Uh, I really do need to sort this out. Right, I need another plank. Now, they gave us ample planks, I think, but um, I did have an error where, as you know, I um, actually, let's just show you that. I've got that somewhere. I was missing a 12 pounder gun and uh, I got another one sent to me. But uh, if you have a look at this here, 
that's the old one I did. You saw the pictures for it. So uh, that's with the colour that I thought the victory was. But that was my newest effort, which I'm really happy with. But the, as you notice, the wheels aren't black. The wheels on the victory aren't black. On the uh, 12 pounders on the victory aren't black. They're sort of like a stone colour. But um, I, as I said, I am doing the victory as it is now. So I won't be using the yellow ochre paint to paint it. It will be that funny salmon colour <laughs> that it is at the moment. But uh, in time, I'm sure people will get used to that colour. Until the historians decide, actually, no, it probably wasn't that colour. <laughs> It'll be like our scientists at the moment, trying to decide whether the... Uh, whether the coronavirus is caused by wearing masks or not. Right, this is a problem. As you see, if it's kind of tight to go in, like you see there, I need to get my pliers to pull that out. Can't use that one. I could probably use it with a little hammer, but I don't want to get it jammed in this little pin pusher. As I said, this is in my Amazon store, but the, uh, oh God, I can't pick the pins up now. And I did add it to the American Amazon store as well. I said the links are at the bottom, but unfortunately, the American one it's not in stock at the moment. So uh, I guess it's like a, a watch this place for that one. Thanks, Andy Carroll. Yep, we're keeping safe here. Getting bored. Once the builds are done during the day, I was going to do the Terminator today, but I thought, no, that means I'll have nothing to do tomorrow. So I'm, uh, I've saved that till tomorrow. Have you heard anything about the Millennium Fox shipments in the US? No, someone told me about that Don Duck 73 that uh, they are delayed. I think everything's just up the wall at the moment. I do reckon we're going to get a lot of deliveries at the beginning of May now. Hopefully. But uh, I don't know. I've had no notification from Hashet that um, anything's been sent. So, and that's including the Spitfire, the Terminator, or uh, the Bismarck. But... Pretty much why I did the DB5 video today. That's gone really well actually today. I didn't know if we'd get as many views for that one, but I think a lot of peeps are interested in that. Which uh, was good. It needed to be said. But um, probably wasn't the right time to say it at the time. Because <laughs> uh, I didn't know what was going on. I didn't have a clue. As you saw from my texts. <laughs> my tweets, should I say. Yep, that's all in. Right, now by the look of it, the next one. Oh, that's going to fit absolutely perfectly. I won't have to do another little bit there because when we put these bits up, let me just show you how this fits. If I just leave that there and get one of my bent pieces here. Because I've already tried this. The way these bits go up is they sort of go around this edge here like that from the bottom here. So when this actually comes and meets this, then obviously the gap gets filled up by this section here. We haven't really got to worry about the tiny gap that we can see in there. So, once again, I'll just get this lined up. Matter of fact, let's just cut off the excess here. I've just noticed as I'm learning this, there are parts of this where I can uh, chat with you all. Like when I'm pushing the pins in. <laughs> I didn't think I'd get much chat in tonight. Um, so, my pin lines aren't very straight, are they? <laughs> it doesn't matter. You're not going to see them eventually. Right, where's my pin pusher gone? Has it rolled under? Yeah. There we go. I've just proved to you my desk isn't straight as well. Well, um, just doing this part, I think this camera's probably the best one, actually. <laughs> no, can't use that one. Oh, thank you, Glyn the Gas Man. Yeah, 5 million views. Apparently, I did it on the 20th. I wasn't I wasn't aware of that. So that was a, a news to me sort of thing. You would have sent me three and four. The, the DB5, I was, I was disappointed because I really wanted to actually do a build. And it wasn't until I read up about it that I was like, hang on, there's not really much to build in this. And then uh, I had the bigger problem. Oh, my microphone's just fallen off. Hang on a second. I had the bigger problem that... Um, 
I knew my friend had done it and I knew he had problems with it. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to get in touch with you and find out exactly what problems you had. Now, his problems were mainly to do with the uh, the doors not aligning. A lot of the panels weren't aligning. I think they had the colour issues and he was having electrical problems with his one as well. But um, it sounds like the... Uh, sounds like the biz um, uh, was it the DeLorean another thing that had its problems got now these pins that I'm putting in this pin press don't uh, are the ones that come from Diagostini model space should I say these aren't the ones that come with the press you do get a bag of pins with these normally at 100 pins but uh, that one works there we go so this is the last bit to do here. Now the actual cutting of the side, stuff like that happens in pack three, so that won't be happening tonight. On there. Wait, why don't you put a small hand towel on there so things don't roll around? Yeah, I should do, shouldn't I? They shouldn't anyway, I just need to balance my desk up because this mat should stop that. It's not like a my new mat is and it's more of a, a spongy material than a like a neoprene if you like. But it is what it is. Right. Last bit on. Make sure that's lined up okay. Last thing I want to do is jab my finger again. Right, let's put this one in, I think, first. One. Look at that. That didn't go in then. Why didn't that go in then? Perhaps it wasn't lined up properly. Try again. Alright. Try and get this one in. Excellent. Excellent. So, there we go. That's all in. Uh, that's what it looks like from that side. I said we've got a little tidy gap on there, but I said that will be filled up when these come round from this side here we'll cut those into them but uh pretty good i don't think i want to put another one on there because it'll be sort of let's try and find a straight one just to be sure i suppose i could couldn't i i could put one on there and then put that down file it down Mm, no, I think it's going to be better to actually line up with that whole edge so that's straight. As I know that's straight, I think I will leave it that. So when these come round, like that, I think they'll be equal there. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave it that way. So, we've done that. That's all we had to do so far in that part of the victory. So, what I'm going to do... Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Can you see that? Okay. <laughs> I'm just going to put that on the floor for a minute because i'm going to hopefully not blow the power have a little tidy up i don't need my panel pins now so i'm going to put them away and we're gonna gonna have a quick go at plank bending i'm going to show you about the plank bending in fact would be better to go on that one now so bear with me i'll try and answer some questions while i'm tidying up Alex Madonna, World of Wayne. I like all the World of Wayne bills, so I wouldn't mind seeing any of them live on a Tuesday. That's what the uh, the plan is, Alex. I want to do pick one live build and do it on a Tuesday. But what I don't want to do is do a Tuesday live stream and then I'm doing like one whole panel for the Bismarck or something, which would be a complete waste of time. So uh, I want something that's a bit meaty to do, which again is a little bit brave of me because... Uh, <laughs> you just know that if it's going to go wrong it will go wrong on a live stream like you just saw tonight where I'm uh, piercing my bum and stuff <laughs> okay right I'm just letting this warm up at the moment this is my plank bender again this is in my 
Amazon store. It comes with a little holder, just like that. And it also comes with this jig here. Now, you can make U-shaped bends if you wanted to, but really that's just for making tight bends on corners. This is the one that you're gonna be using most here. I need to ration the rum, Mr. Pickles. You're right, I've actually got coffee tonight. Look, I'm uh, drinking my coffee tonight. My finger's healed. <laughs> Chris Camping, have you seen the Diamond Dots video? It's like painting my numbers, but we've tied it. No, I haven't. <laughs> I've just realized there are two cam reviews. What's that for, Luke Sutherland? Well, as you can see, I'm doing the other one it, it, just to pick which one's best for what I'm actually doing. So now the top one's best for what I'm doing. So I think it's boring if you just keep the same camera on all the time. I try to add a bit of interactivity to it and uh, having more than one camera. Uh, okay. You've got to make sure that's really hot. Now, the first thing I'm going to show you is three planks. The plank here is just an ordinary plank and it hasn't got any water on it at all. The plank here has been, let me just make sure it's right. Yeah, the plank here has been soaking for five hours. Obviously, it's a lot darker than this one. Um, and what I've done is this one here has been soaking for five hours, but this end here has been soaking for three hours. And this one here has been soaking for about five days. So this is swollen up. I don't know if you can tell that on camera, a lot more than the one there. So when this shrinks back down, this is the one that's gonna be like liable to bend like that, or I don't know, twist, stuff like that. Now, if you try and bend this now with no heat, even though it's really been soaked, you could probably get it quite far, but it's just gonna spring back. As you can see, not do nothing. Now this is the one that's been going, let me just make sure I'm, I am doing the right one here. Yeah, this is the one that's been soaking for like five days. So this is what we use the jig for because we can bend this into the jig. As you can see there, no problems at all, but it just springs back. So we need to use this. Now what this is gonna do, it's gonna actually dry all the water out there. You can see it's like ironing clothes. And this is where Mrs. Welder Wayne says, Wayne, you don't know how to do that. <laughs> but you take your time on it, a bit at a time, there we go, then this side here, just pressing down with the end here, and then rolling it around, there you go. Now if I need to make that bend even more, just uh, get it on this section here, it's going to take a lot just so you know to actually just keep this in place and burn the wood. You get this to exactly as you want it. Do this side here as well. Philip Trot, the last delivery of Bismarck I see was in February. Any news on the next delivery? No, I haven't had anything yet. Um, Philip, there we go. And as you can see, that bend now stays in. Now, if I wanted to continue that bend, then obviously I can just hold that like that and then just continue doing exactly what I did there. Just roll that round. Like that. Now, all looks very well, having a nice bend in there, just like that. Trouble is, as I said, this has been soaking for ages, so when this dries, it's gonna start warping and stuff like that. Now, if I try to do exactly the same thing with a bit of wood that hasn't been wet at all, there you go, that's what happens. <laughs> so it does need water. You can't just like get one of these and think you can't soak the planks. Now, this plank here, has been soaking for around about five hours, like I said. And I think this is probably optimal. So once again, I'm gonna put that in. There we go. And then just do the same thing. And I don't know if you can hear that hissing. That's it drying the wood out. Pretty good. You need to do a tight corner. Then again, the tight corners, you wouldn't put it over like that, you'd do it gradually. You'd be going on this section here and heating that up and then bending it round. Like that. As a matter of fact, I just realized I'm using this at the bend which hasn't been in the water that long. But you get the idea, it's probably best to do it at the other end actually. Let me just pick the uh, other end of this one.
There's no rush doing this. There you go. Get this a bit more bent around this side. But this is how you use a plank bender. <laughs> See, you can make really tight bends on that. <laughs> make that a little bit more if I wanted to. But you get the idea. Now these sort of bends that you see here are pretty much used on that keel, which is why uh, when I showed you this one here, that's what I used to make that tight bend there, which is going to go around the keel section. But uh, it's quite therapeutic watching me use a plank bender. I'm going to unplug that because I don't want to burn the house down. Uh, which I will. I'll burn the house down. But that's how you use a plank bender. Um, must soak the wood. And I think a minimum of five hours. I've seen so many sites that say uh, just leave it for 20 minutes in hot water. I don't know. I didn't get on with that, I have to say. So now I'm going to be uh, painting the Victory. And I'll show you why I'm having to paint it. Five hours, my plate gets 10 minutes. Really, John? God, how, how, um, how, how, look, I'm talking to the thing here. How, um, how long do you spend with that plank bender just ironing it out? Do you take your time with it? Quite interesting. But, uh, I mean, these ones, as I said, these, uh, these were five hours. And, and they've bent back. They, they have, when they've dried, as I said, they've dried like that. And they haven't shrunk or warped, as you can see. They're perfectly straight still. So that's why I go with that five hour uh, thing there. So, uh, right, let's just put the camera back onto this one and bring the victory back up. Because what we did, whoops, not the uh, Millennium Falcon. Right, when I was doing the sanding, as I said on the video on, at the start here, I had to sand down this section here because some of these um, decks over here were coming out past the ribs, so I needed to sand them down. Uh, and doing that, obviously, the black areas here, unfortunately, uh, have got a little bit grey now and stuff with sawdust stuck to them. And it's like uh, putting chalk on a chalkboard and trying to uh, make it black again. Um, and the other thing is that I didn't realise, if I turn it upside down, obviously, these ports, if you can see here, are going to have, like, uh, it's going to be suggested that it's a cannon port. Uh, but I never painted the roof <laughs> you see what i mean so i need to do that as well so we're going to do some painting but i don't quite know how i'm going to do this i'm going to if i put that well, i don't know there you might see what i'm working on at the start now i've already had a vacuum cleaner to this but i'm going to be using some uh where are we just some acrylic paint i could use my vallejo but i've still got quite a lot of this paint left this paint i got from the range it's about three pounds and this is what i've been using but if you see when this comes out i've got a lot of it on here a little bit too gloopy which i'll show you on the camera there see it's a little bit gloopy so i do add just a bit of airbrush thinner to it just to thin that out a little bit and i've got quite a big brush for this because it's a big job but uh, i'm just going to mix this up And then I'm going to get this painted black. And while I'm painting, I will try and answer some of your questions if you've still got any. But first off, what do you think about these uh, live builds on a Tuesday? I'm hoping I haven't bored you. Because <laughs> uh, when I concentrate, I can go quiet. And as you can see, though, you're... Uh, Keep watching me, you never know what I'm going to do, like prick my finger two times, cry out in pain. Now when I'm painting this, you don't paint, you don't paint this edge here, and you definitely don't paint the ribs. The reason for that is because um, you obviously want the planks to stick to it, and if they stick to the paint, you're not going to get as much adhesion as you would do if you were, uh... hang on a second. <laughs> making sure that's all painted up you wouldn't get as much adhesion as you would do if uh, it was unpainted 
He hoovers the ship, not the house. Yeah, damn straight, Mrs. Worldaway. You won't catch me hoovering the house. That sounds like a chore. I don't do chores. <laughs> um, I'm not airbrushing this for that reason as well. Because this bit, once you've got the planks on, is going to be dark anyway in there. So you're not going to notice any of the textures on there. You're never going to see any of the brush strokes on there. That's why um, I'm not airbrushing this bit. Because I just don't want to get it on the ribs. And I don't want to get it on the side of the... Uh... Sorry that you can't really see what I'm doing here. You're just going to have to put up with my dog sit tones. Amazon have a lot of them. Clean the gas van. Some are quite cheap and some are rather expensive, but are very big. What's that? Vacuum cleaners. <laughs> At least I've done what I wanted to achieve tonight, and that is to get those planking done without the back end of the ship falling off. <laughs> Which could had. This is easily my favourite build at the moment though, because I said this goes on for... Someone told me this is going to take me like six years if I decide to do the copper uh, tiles at the bottom. But you can get yourself lost in this. And uh, I, I said, I keep, I keep talking about what, what you've said to me, you, you, you folks who watch me. Someone also said, the wood can be very forgiving. But if you make mistakes, it's quite easy to rectify with wood. And yet I've never heard more truer words said. But uh, I don't really need to do this, but I'm doing it because um, I'm fussy. I don't. I like it to be black rather than grey inside here. Always find hobby craft to be expensive. It certainly is. If I want to go hobby craft round here, I have to go all the way to uh, Rushton Lakes in Rushton, where Rushton and Diamonds used to play. That's my nearest hobby craft. I think me and Mrs. Welder Wayne went to one in uh, Wolverhampton as well. Because I said I've got a lot of my relatives in, Wolver in the Midlands. A lot of my relatives in the Midlands. So when we go up there, we uh, we do nip in hobby craft. And that's where Mrs. Welder Wayne starts spending my money. Because Mrs. Welder Wayne can be quite creative as well. If you've, uh, if you've been on my Patreon channel, you'll see her... God. Lady Cave? Can I call it that without it sounding rude? I can never call it that without it sounding rude, can I? <laughs> but uh, yeah, you can still see me there, right? Cool. But um, yeah, you see some of the things she's created in the uh, in the lady cave there. It's pretty impressive. I think it's fun that we are working on the same model at the same time. I've enjoyed the other live builds too. A lot of people build along, Chris, which is quite good. That's pretty much how I got into this. You know, if I had to pick a YouTuber, I think um, when I started doing the Millennium Falcon, I think I mentioned this before in a stream, that I used to watch Chris Falcon doing the, the Millennium Falcon. Uh, I think I was doing streams at the same time he was, but he was going above and beyond doing the mods and stuff, which I hadn't even thought about. To me, because the Falcon was one of my first, well, it was the first part work build I did. It was, um, it was just a case of getting the thing done and saying to myself, yes, I have built that. Rum and coffee, that'll work. Yeah, perhaps I should. I'm glad I didn't have a rum tonight, for obvious reasons. Uh, just see if that other camera makes a better picture. I might do. Can you see where am I painting at the moment? Where did I get to? I got to here. So, yeah, kind of. Gives you a change of scenery. 2.5 scale hex bulbs. They sell them in silver, black and zinc. Is that for the um, Ecto-1 engine? I know a lot of people have been uh, replacing them for that. This bit's a little bit tricky because... Where am I on the camera here? I'm getting to the bit where, again, all of this is going to be covered here. You're not... Even though we planked this section, we didn't plank it, we had to draw it on. You're not really going to see it. You're going to see it for a little doorway here. The rest of it's going to be covered by decks. So it's... Uh, it's only there to suggest there's planking in there. When we come to do the top deck, the top deck is planked. So, and for that reason, with how good the barrels came out, I'm going to be painting the decks the Romsil colour again. Because that's the exact colour that the uh, Victory decks are. And if anyone doubts me, 
I will put pictures up from when I visited the victory again later on <laughs> when we get to that stage. I think that stage must be in like pack seven or something. I don't know. Cool. Dash Riptide. Sonderax. No, you can't. I live, in a, I live near a DIY shop, but I'm guessing two times five more hex bolts won't be in a shop like that. No, you need a little model shop, specialist shop for that. Will I post it on YouTube, Luke Sutherland? What's that? Sorry. What 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 do you want me to post on YouTube? <laughs> I've, I've got visions of you saying, Mrs. World of Wayne's Lady Cave. <laughs> Slight the land your goonies do, do blonde on the boat. Oh, right. oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. I knew you said about that. Ian Campbell, definitely show your photos. What's that of uh, Mrs. World of Wayne? Someone did request, uh, they wanted some information regarding the central mast section of the victory. So I just sent him my whole photo album from the victory when, when we went there, Mrs. me and Mrs. World of Wayne. We went there in June last year. Thank God we did, because obviously I can't see us making that trip this year at the moment. Which is a pain, because we've got a... Uh, I'm just going to change the camera back. You might see a bit more. I'm, I'm working down here at the moment. The... Um, We've got a holiday booked to Scotland in August, where we went on our honeymoon last year, actually. We enjoyed it so much, we want to go back there. But uh, how long is this lockdown going to last? That's the question. Because uh, it's getting to the point now where, I mean, even I'm looking at the graphs and seeing all the trends going down, which is a good thing. They went up again today. But uh, at the end of the day, I said, it doesn't matter when we open them up again. All it takes is one person with a coronavirus to infect someone else. And being in lockdown or not is not going to help that. But the question I can't understand is if we've been in lockdown now for almost a month, how comes the death toll figures are still high when the incubation period from getting it to being critical in hospital is supposed to be two weeks? For me, keeping us all locked down ain't doing much. But... uh Everyone was moaning about Sweden having the wrong idea, but if you look at all the figures at the moment, their idea with herd immunity is actually paying off for them. So, uh, perhaps they got the uh, the right idea. Mrs. World Wayne's building a doll's house. Will it be posted on YouTube? Oh, um, I don't know. She 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 only mentioned that the other day, Luke. God, Mrs. World of Wayne, you already got that out there. I think my daughter's watching tonight. Faith, if you're watching. Hello. She did text me to ask if I was doing my live stream there. That would be a first time she's ever watched her daddy. I haven't seen my kids now for uh, six weeks. It's, uh, it's horrible. All right, that's that side done. I'm going to turn that around and do the other side. And then you'll probably get an idea of what I've just done because <laughs> you'll be able to see it. <laughs> Let's do that side. Ian Cave wants people to share their man caves, and no, that's not euphemism. Good idea, actually. Someone's uh, building one at the moment, doing a YouTube channel. I can't remember your name. I'm sorry if you are watching this stream. He's got an excellent area. It looks like a loft, a, a loft space that you could have like a model railway in, to be honest with you. But uh, I already confiscated this area of the house. I think Mrs. Welder Wayne wanted me to have an area that I can do this sort of thing in. Does Manclave include building in my dingy basement? Dash Riptide, I told you, this room here is tiny. This room here is like... God. Probably about 8 foot by about 7 foot. Nah, it's not that big. I might be, yeah, about 8 foot by 7. It's tiny, it's a broom cupboard. I've just got the cameras clever, cleverly orientated to where... Uh, to where it needs to be. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Water Wayne saying she hasn't got the same uh, charisma. Yeah, you have. You're a teacher. You have to have charisma to keep the kids interested. Anyway, peeps, what do you think of this idea of doing a build Tuesday? I do try and chat and keep it interesting. I'm, I'm, that's what worries me, that I'll be so immersed in doing the model that you'll just get bored. <laughs> um, 
I find it soothing. Obviously, we're doing a live stream on Thursday, so where I haven't seen questions and stuff, I'll be answering them on Thursday if I can. And again, if I haven't got answers for you for some of the things you ask, I will try and find out. For the questions that I've been asked by email, no, I don't know what Agora's next model is at the moment. Uh, Agora just announced today that if you wanted the Shelby, they'll actually send out the first four packs in one go for you if you wanted to. You don't have to wait for them, which I thought was excellent. Um, but again, I don't know if anything's been put back with any of these companies. Wayne, have you seen Colin Fur's Man Cave Bunker? No, I haven't, Red City. Is, it, is that his YouTube channel name? Because we're allowed out for exercise and people are taking advantage. I live near a canal and people are sitting on the edge having picnics and playing games. That's crazy. I watch, um, since I've been on lockdown, we've been watching a couple of people that are on narrowboats, living on them. One's called uh, Country House Gent and another one's called... Uh, uh, cruising the cut and I'm addicted to them absolutely love it but they said the same thing that they can't they feel guilty if they have to move their narrow boat but they've got people just like having a leisurely day out if you like taking the, uh, the family out for a walk by the canal but I mean is this uh, I'm sorry if I'm off camera here move that over It's not in in the UK. It's not as serious as I've seen it in like France and Italy, on the news. If we built Phoebe a kennel, she'd just laugh at us. She sleeps in our yeah. She does sleep in our bed, big time. Whose fault's that, Mrs. Welder Wayne? Never used to. But Mrs. Welder Wayne's what we commonly call a pushover. <laughs> So young Phoebe, well, young Phoebe, she's 11 years old now, gets away with whatever she wants, which is pretty crazy. <laughs> but I'm going to show you what this side looks like. I've only got four more bits to do. I'll have a look at that. It's very off topic, but a friend told me you can do up to 12 or 8 issues of Eagle Must Build the DeLorean. Can anyone confirm this? I don't know, Shiny. I do not know. I know that we're all waiting for issues of the uh, Ecto-1, 14 to 14, 15, 16, 17, is it? I can't remember, 15 to 18. But um, they were, I think if you, if you had a 12 month subscription, you can get them on a fast track. So you should get them before everyone else. But I haven't had any notification that mine have been sent out yet. I believe I'm on that one. So. We we'll have to see, but I haven't received the proton packs. Matter of fact, I'm probably going to get the proton packs in the next delivery, so I'll be able to watch this space for that. I may try and mod them. The trouble is that I'm very much aware that Chloe and Corey have made a really impactful, amazing one. Right, I need to turn this upside down, so hang on a second, just like that. And all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to paint this edge up the top here. So we're not seeing the windows. You know what? This paint needs thinner. Never have too much thinner with these paints. Uh, you can't really see on that camera. Can you see on the other one? Perhaps. I don't know. No, I'm going back to the other one. I like that side camera. Don't normally have a camera that side, to be honest with you. But that's a new, new thing for me. I bet Mrs. Weldy's running a push over to Phoebe. Yeah, not to me. If I wanted to go down in the night and get me a drink, because, you know, I'm knackered, and I'm lying in bed knackered, God, do I. she give me grief. She'd be like, no, I'm not going. When did your slave die off? <laughs> and once again, I'm sleeping on the sofa tonight, aren't I? <laughs> Oh, one day I'll be able to do a live stream without Mrs. World of Wayne uh, telling me off the things I say on screen. She's not that bad. She doesn't tell me off. Hello, Keith. How's it going?
Thank you guys. I really started to wonder if my friend was a liar. <laughs> oh, did someone answer that for you? Sorry, I missed that. See, I'm painting this with knowing that you're never going to see this bit again, but there you go. That's a British word, knackered. We were watching this, uh, who is that? that Sonderax. We were watching this thing about fi uh, statements that we make in Britain that drive, like, foreigners and Americans crazy. So, for example, I don't know. Um, I'm trying to think of some of the things that they pulled, pulled up for us. Um, when we say we're Hank Marvin. Obviously, that's starving. Or, uh... I think what the other ones they say it's just it doesn't it doesn't translate well into other cultures. <laughs> You're on the twelve month Hector plan. You had an email Friday saying my next lot fifteen and eighteen was on the way. I haven't received that yet. Bang average drama. Where are you based? Are you in the UK? I'm waiting patiently. All of my subscriptions are still running. I'll check that. I need more uh, paint now. Jesus. I'm actually almost used up all my black paint. More uh, thinner in there. You're in the Midlands, ah. Huh? That's a... Like, hopefully I'll get my email soon then. I want to get on building. I was behind, and uh, I said to him, can you catch me up? Because uh, Eagle Moss cancelled my subscription without telling me. So I said I need it to do these build videos. <laughs> so they, they did manage to catch me up. Now these bits on the ceiling I'm doing here, as I said, you're not going to see this deck. So I'm not, um, I'm only painting just the edges where you'd see the thing. I said look, looing instead of looking and had people laughing, I didn't know why. <laughs> Apples and pears, that's it. But that's like your Cockney whining slang. Some of the other things though were like, um, Mrs. World of Wayne, can you remember some of them? They just don't translate well to other other cultures <laughs> right I've almost done this side Get this one. I know I'm off camera doing this bit now because right down the far end here I'm trying not to uh, go too near that plank bender <laughs> right just got to do the other side god this thing is heavy it's very heavy. If I go like that, can you see? About I'm trying to find a view you might be out. You can't see any view here, to be honest with you. Oh, I'll just go like that, and you can listen to my dulcet tones. <laughs> Wait, the Shelby packs are fifty pound each. Yet yeah, buy one four at the same time. It's three two five fifty one hundred fifty two hundred. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Is that including postage? Because I know postage to the States will obviously go on top of that. Postage to different countries is going to be more expensive. Bear with me, that was one. You tell someone to bear with me. <laughs> they don't get it. <laughs> they literally think we have a bear with us. Said my next DeLorean and DB5 payments taken out. Wondering if they'll send me the first issues of Jeep Willy. A lot of people are getting into that Jeep Willy. I really need to catch up with the Ecto then. Spent so long with painting my engine. I'm still on issue 9. Hey guys, has anyone seen Sfee's painted engine for the Ecto-1? It looks wicked. He's posted it on the uh, Ecto-1 group. But did you actually do a video for that, Sfee? Airbrushing techniques. That would probably be one of the good things to do in a build video, wouldn't it? But as I said, I, these bits here, you're never going to see, so that's why I'm not airbrushing them. I'm just slapping as much black paint on them as I possibly can. But, uh, looking good. 
Oh yeah, the issue one was half price, that's right, I remember now. That's right, because you can have it over 24 months, which would mean it would be £50 a month, wouldn't it? Qualities is brilliant though. That Shelby and the uh, Ferrari F40 that I'm building, wow. That's pretty amazing. The Ferrari, uh, the money came out for that about a week ago, so kind of hoping that that will be here soon as well. But uh, again, I haven't heard or seen anything about that one. I'm sure it'll be here soon. Break a leg. Yes, that was another one. Break a leg. <laughs> We're crazy, us Brits. <laughs> I have a day's video to edit. Yeah, good luck with that. Sod that. I will show you what this looks like in a minute. I just, uh, um, I've got, let's have a look. One, two, three. I've got six more just little bays to do. Yeah, I saw the um, some dry bus brushing techniques with that. I think with what Sfi's done though, basically uh, you've completely roughed the engine up. Did you take that paint off first, Sfi, when you did that? Or did you uh, just wear it down and then paint on top of it? I want to get the Shelby as it's 1.8 like the Ektar. I want to have a few 1.8 iconic cars. If you saw my video today, Sonderax, I said that diecast club in America is really good. And that's what they wanted to do over here. But uh, for whatever reason, it all went pear shaped. Oh, that's another one. It all went pear shaped. That's another one that uh, is lost on the uh, foreigners. Pear shaped. <laughs> uh. Right, three more bays left. Wait a minute, you can do Blue Peter. Here's one I did earlier. God. Ian, this has taken me like seven. We went in June last year, so almost a year just to get to this point. <laughs> so you can imagine. Uh, no, <laughs> not building another one. Mega Nico's building the bounty, though. I've seen the bounties uh, made its way across the uh, pond over to uh, Holland there. That looks really good. I don't know if you're still on here, Mega Nico. Oh, yeah, and a lot of people are doing the Eleanor, aren't they? That looks quite cool as well. There are a lot of Mustangs on the market, aren't they? That must be a popular car to build. Right, I think. Do this little bit here. We're good. Have a look. Any more bits? Yes. Couple more here. Again, I don't need to do this really, but I'm doing it because it's going to play on my mind when this is all covered up with planks. If I can actually see something, it means poking a paintbrush through the holes in the uh, the cannon ports, which I don't want to do. Right, let's have a look at that. Turn it over. Yeah, that's better. This side's still wet, but it looks a lot better. And that's not ever going to be seen again because we're going to be planking it. In the next episode, I believe we're going to start doing the planks just along the sides here. Which are going to cover all of those edges just like that there. And then we're going to have the top few lots of planks in ready to start doing the gun ports. But uh, that is, if I can turn that back, tonight's build video. We've done everything I wanted to do, which I didn't think we'd do. My uh, cuts aren't too bad. What time is it? It's uh, 10 past 9, so that was like a normal live stream. And my coffee's cold, but I'll still drink it anyway. I don't have chat up on the screen here, so I'll have to just read it from the thing. Yeah, build the Titanic next using Kellogg's Cornflake boxes, bottle tops. <laughs> I'd like to build Tracy Island. You remember Blue Peter doing that? Blue Peter, if you don't know, in the US, it's a really famous kid show that we had over here. It's been going on, God, for years. Since the 50s, I think. <laughs> I have the bucket wheel excavator. I hated the thing. Oh, bless you. 
anyway, listen, so that was the first build video that we done. The uh, next one next week, I haven't got a clue what it's going to be, but hopefully I'll have some idea of that by the weekend to let you know what it is. I don't know if they're all going to go on for this long, but hopefully you liked that and hopefully I didn't bore you. But uh, that's pack two of the victory completed. And when we're starting on pack three, we're going to be doing a lot more plank bending, as you see, and hopefully a lot less stabbing fingers with uh, panel pins. We didn't want to do. So uh, I'm going to do what I did the other day, you know, on the last live stream. I'm going to wish you well. Thank you for watching and take care. How long have I got a stay like this for? <laughs> take care, everyone. See you later.